Hey y'all, just doing a quick intro. Oh my gosh, um, hair, everything. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this all natural. Um, Sally and I recorded three weeks ago and it's taken me this long to get it edited because I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna flip the camera. Can I flip the camera? Can't flip the camera. I'm gonna record another one, hold on. This is my house, look at this. This is what my house looks like. There's still workmen here. It's crazy town and has been for three weeks. And we've been living in this. But I love the colors and it's totally worth it. And of course, Daisy wants to go out right as I'm recording this. But that's why it's so late. It's not Sally, it's all me. I'm Sally. And I'm Alan. And we are Sal and Al. The Wool Slayers. Welcome. Hi, y'all. Hi. Don't be freaked out. I pivoted a little. <laughs> no. I, was like, I was like this, and now I'm like this. <laughs> I'm, and I'm in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good, though. Um, I got my walls painted. I don't know if y'all can tell. They're gray. I'm so beige. Um, but I'm pivoted because I wanted to get this good light right now because we're podcasting at night. <laughs> 6 40 p.m. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever podcast this late. And we've True. never podcast on the weekend before. Right. <laughs> Unless you count like when we did it like at um the Memorial Day weekend or something. No, um, well, because that was like on a Monday. We um like when we were at Horseshoe Bay or whatever. Oh yeah. When that we might did have been in the hills. Weekend. That was probably a Saturday. Yeah. But this is so weird. It is. It I'm is. drinking champagne. <gasps> oh, I should have done that. Oh. Because it's because it's night. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, wait, can I pause and I'm going to go get a glass of wine? You can cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you know. Okay, let's pause. I'm going to okay, go get a glass of wine. Okay, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think about that. Because I've been thinking like, with you know, I just have had a hectic day and I'm like, man, I can't wait to make my cocktail tonight. <laughs> Good at it now. It is time. Cheers. Cheers. To everybody watch yeah. <laughs> cheers you guys if you're watching at night then go get a cocktail i am drinking on the podcast that's true well i did with my mom when we were in wimberley but that wasn't you and me so it doesn't really count <laughs> no. um so yeah um okay. i am sally you can find me on ravelry if it is safe for you i feel like we should mention oh so no, if it's not safe for you um, we don't have a better option right now, so we're going to stick with Ravelry until, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not super thrilled with how they treated the whole debacle, mm -hmm. but for right now, if it is safe for you, find us on Ravelry, Sally Wren. And I am Alan Loves Yarn. Um, we will post show notes down below and our links will be for Ravelry. Ravelry. So don't go if it's not safe for you. Um, you know, but again, that's the best option we have right now. Yeah. Um, you can find us on Facebook at Sal and Al the Wool Slayers, Instagram at Wool Slayers Podcast. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, well, and we do have a website. Yeah, um, we do. WoolSlayersPodcast.com. Um, and maybe, I don't know. SampleSlayers.com. Is it? <laughs> I thought so. It's mainly for the retreat. It might be. I think we debated this. In a while. <laughs> right? It has been a while and we didn't have the retreat. So we didn't even, you know. Right, right. Yeah, it probably is Campbell's Layers. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't drink on the podcast. I know, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know. We'll have to, Sally and I will have to talk about that and see how we can utilize it more. Yeah, and uh, like they're showing, or, um, just like pictures of the patterns. I don't know. I, I try to find alternate links to the, we find all of our patterns on Ravelry, so I know. yeah, figure it out. Don't yeah. go to the link to the show notes if it's not, if Ravelry is not your jam right now. Right, right. Um, okay. Okay. So any fails, Sally? I don't have any fails. Yay! I don't either. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't, yeah, not even recoveries. <laughs> <laughs> Next segment. Yeah, exactly. Slays. Do you have any slays? I do. 
Okay. I do. Um, okay. I have more gifts. Can you believe this? Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> really? I, I don't either. But I will tell you, <laughs> I think what's happened, because one of the, um, uh, was it Julia? I think Julia commented and said that she thought that the reason I was doing more gift knitting and was being more generous was because I'm not seeing people as much. And so I'm missing them. And so I'm wanting to your love with them. Exactly. So, um, you also had, I feel like, like having a niece. Yes. Kind of kicked it into gear too. That's true. And even though these gifts weren't for her. <laughs> well, no, but, but yeah, kind of got the ball rolling, I think. Right. Yeah. So, um, I, oh, please let them still be in here. I have a friend who has started during Corona, like in the past couple of months, has started playing with her dollhouse from when she was a child. Oh, I love that. You know, that's a whole thing. You know, there's sourdough bread, there's indoor plants. I've become into both. You know, there's people who've gotten into puzzles and dollhouses have become a, a quarantine thing. Really? Yeah. One of my favorite comedians, um, he ordered one that looks like a little, like a library. Uh-huh. And he, he had to make all of everything that goes in it. And now he has like a, li a dollhouse library. Wow. See, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay. So what would you make? Did you make oh. so, I'm so excited. I know. And <laughs> it was so much fun. And please tell me I still have the pictures. She texted. The, oh, you, maybe it's on WhatsApp. Um, I got a new phone. And so I think like in my text, not everything came over, like the picture, yeah. I probably told it not to import the pictures. Probably. Probably. Makes sense. I might, I, might have to, <laughs> I might have to get new pictures. You she did. To, you can input them and then. Yeah. <laughs> so what she wanted was, um, she wanted blankets, mm -hmm. little tiny blankets. And I did take some pictures, so I should pull those up. That's what I can get. But she sent me her, the houses or the rooms with the blankets. I wanna, in it. Oh, I wanna, it's trans. I mean, it's incredible. Like to me, they're just little rectangles, like right. small, tiny swatches. But then she puts one on a bed in a tiny room and I'm like, oh, it looks like a blanket. Uh -oh. <laughs> I want to see it for sure. Um, and then, okay. It wasn't too long ago. So, oh, okay. So here, here are the ones I made. See how little they are? Yes. I mean, that's one blocking square. Right. <laughs> um, right. And she, like, she's very knit worthy. And here's what I think is happening. I think that I have been knitting long enough now around all the people that I'm with you know, like friends and that kind of thing mm -hmm. that, and they've been so appreciative and complimentary and understand what it takes that now that more people have become knit worthy. So it makes it easier to be generous. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, she reached out and she was like, I've been playing with my dollhouse from when I was a kid. Cause she used to play with it all the time when she was a kid and she brought it to her parents. Her children are the same age as Zane. So they're actually, they turned 13 in a couple of weeks, but, um, they, and so she got it for her. She had got it from her parents when her young or when her daughter was six and, um, and her daughter was just never that interested in it. So she still had it at her house and she pulled it out and was like, I'm having so much fun. I love it. So she wanted blankets to decorate you know, to put in her room and are in the rooms. And she looked on Etsy and she's like, they're crazy expensive. I know. I don't know what crazy expensive is to her. Um, but she sent me a picture of one because I said, I'll be happy to make them for you. She sent, I just said, send me a picture of what you like, what you're thinking of. Mm -hmm. And it was crocheted. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'm like, okay, I'll just do a knit texture that similar. Yeah, gives it some texture. So, um, so I picked up my books, my 
I had to move my wine. Um, my Knit and Pearl, mm -hmm. the Harmony Guides, and then Lace and Eyelets. Mm -hmm. And I went through and I found like at least 40 different stitches that would be great. And she only wanted four blankets. And so I'm like, well, because we use Marco Polo, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to go through these. You look and tell me. And she's like, and she responded. And she's like, I love it that you're so excited. And it really doesn't matter what the texture is. They all look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and I'll tell you. So um, she said, it's really about the color. I want the, that color there. Mm -hmm. And she wanted it to be drapey enough that she could, like it would fall over instead of be flat. Um, and what's funny about her being a non-knitter is I got them to her and she sent me pictures of the four rooms with the blankets. They were all upside down. Upside down. I knew you were going to say it. All oh. yeah, like the wrong side. Yes. I and, she likes, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told her. I'm like, you can totally leave them that, that way because yeah. you're the one that's creating it. And if you like that side of it, then great. But they are upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew you were gonna say that that's so funny and one of them was like stockinette with just little eyelet holes I'm like how do you get that one upside down but non-knitters <laughs> they don't know I don't know I know it's so cute yeah so um so that was fun it probably took me three or four hours I did four of them and uh, it couldn't have taken me, uh, maybe I spent like an hour looking at stitches. Probably. Um, yeah. And then it probably took like two and a half hours to knit the four of them. And then, and I did them on DPNs because they were, um, you know, they're so, she wanted them two inches by like six inches or two inches by four inches. For two inches, I'm going to do them on DPNs. Um, and then because she wanted them drapey, oh, what I did though, Sally, so you know how you give me your little leftover balls? I went into my container of leftovers that are all five grams or less. Is somebody Sorry. coming in? I thought someone was coming in, but <laughs> well, I was <laughs> They're like, oh, no. Sorry. So I went through, and all of my little balls that were five grams, five grams or less and picked out the right colors. That's perfect. I know. I think like two of them were from you and then two were leftovers of mine. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I know. And I started out on a size five and was like, okay, that's too stiff. I'm going to go to a six. So I did the six and I jumped to an eight. So I ended up on eights. That is going to be drapey. Yeah. Fingering weight. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love yeah. it. How fun. Yeah. And That's she perfect. even, she even texted me today or messaged on Marco Polo and was like, I'm just playing with my dollhouse. I'm wondering if you've done your episode where you talk about the blanket. Just making the beds. <laughs> exactly. I know. There's a lot of stuff. You could make little towels. Mm. You could make little rugs. Oh yeah. There's a, I kind of want to get a dollhouse now and start knitting. <laughs> You know what the irony is? I just gave away. Oh, maybe I do still have my dollhouse. I can't remember. I used to, I had a dollhouse and we would put it out at Christmas mm -hmm. and with like lights in the inside. And, um, but I, maybe I got rid of it recently. I swear every time I get rid of something from my childhood, I end up regretting it. Yeah. Like, but then I also don't want to hold on to everything forever. You know, you're speaking my language. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so that was my only sleigh. Oh my cool. God, I have more sleigh video. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. I mean, technically, because I have one and a half. Uh. So I'll show you my hoe. Okay. <laughs> I'm so in love. Oh my God. I love that so much. Look at that ombre background yes like, is she kidding me with this ombre teal background and those stripes and the rainbow <gasps> this is two this is exactly two repeats 
I love it. Um, cause it's there and then it starts again there. And I ended with that raspberry one. Yes, she did. That is right there. I love it. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh my God. It was so fun to knit. Cause you're con you know, cause it's such a thin. Uh huh. So this is Kirby Werby. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. It's, I feel like it's not doing justice to it. It's so oh. vibrant. Oh, it is. It is. Oh. I mean, maybe it's not because I haven't seen it in person, but it is fabulous. And I love the cuff. I think it's getting the three stripes on the cuff that makes it look so cool. I'm really happy with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love it so much. I have a hope. I didn't put a heel in yet, but I like to do both tubes and then decide because I don't know yet if I want to just use this yarn or use a contrast or blah, blah, blah. like I can't decide until I have both tubes done. I don't know. Why. And so, it's easy to just knock them both out at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's done. Let's be real. It needs an, it needs an hour of work for a heel. Maybe not even an hour. I was going to say it's an hour for both. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> like consider it done. I even wove in the two ends. Very good. So, um, so I was really just like, yeah, I love it. Yeah. And I just finished that Friday, I think. And today's Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, um, I'll show you. I, I did cast on a second. Okay. okay. So my big sleigh, though, is my surprise party. Yay! <sighs> oh, look at that. Sally, it is gorgeous Thank off the you. needle. Look at yeah. that. Okay. I don't understand. You know, are you in any, back when you were on social media, were you ever in like Facebook knitting groups? And there are people who were like, I've never blocked anything in my life and I never will. And I'm just like, well, then you're obviously not knitting shawls. Like, I'm sorry. Right. Block, like. Or they're knitting with acrylic and something that doesn't really block out. I'm just like, what are you talking about? Because right. this went, this was nothing. Right. It was a nothing burger. Like it was a bleh. It's all Like even when it's it off the like needle, yes. the stitches are all still so close. It looked like nothing. Mm hmm And then you block it. I think blocking is magic. Oh my God, it's magic. Mm -hmm. I just, every time I'm blocking something, I get fired up about these people who are like, blocking's stupid. I would never do it. And it's like. Well, they're missing out. Okay. Like, obviously like we're knitting in two different worlds here. So don't say I would never. Didn't we learn anything from last episode? Right. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I don't know. It just, it just taps my butt. Like, <laughs> I'll just show a little because it's so big I can't yeah oh god the colors are so fun yeah and I did that pico bind off yes so oh, oh I was wrong I was I, it was bugging me the whole time I was knitting the last bit of it and I had said it's just a little bit of simple lace it's not lace oh it's it, slip stitches it's just this slip stitch oh but you did have lace. I'm pointing like I had already done, I had already done that <laughs> Oh, okay. You don't. I know you done that. I'm a liar. <laughs> and I, it was. I was like, oh god, I just hate that I said there was. But I had glanced at the pattern and I saw that it had like something that wasn't just knit. Right, right. You no, know, I could tell. I just glanced and was like, oh, like there's something going on. Yeah. And I, I thought there was more. I thought it was more of this. Uh huh. Nope, it wasn't. I like those slip stitches. I do too. And then the garter, mm -hmm. um, the edging border, the yeah. And there's more of the slip. I like the texture of the slip stitches. I do there's, too. There's a couple of sections of that. Yeah. Three. There's three. Oh, wow. And so I put blocking wires in the top since it's a pie, a half pie. Mm. Mm hmm. So I put blocking put wires the straight across. Mm -hmm. So it was straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then just blocked out. With Did you put pins in the picos? I didn't put a pin in every pico. Okay. So it would be a lot of pins. <laughs> yeah. And it just didn't need it. Mm. It didn't need it. And I didn't want it to come to points at the Picos. I wanted right, it to right. put, mm -hmm. So I put those, remember we Oh yeah, those things, things that have like three. I can't remember what they're called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've had this conversation before. Right. 
they're like knit blockers, I think is what they're called. Uh-huh. And so I put, you know, I like stretched it and then like just put one like right here. Right. Well, it, it, took, it took some readjusting because at one point my semi, my half circle was like, and so I had to, <laughs> but um, yeah, oh, I just love it. It is gorgeous. You know, I picked it because I wanted happy colors mm-hmm. and. And it was a lot to get out of your stash. Yes, it did the job for mm-hmm. sure. So how much did you have left of the main color? Oh, I had a ton. I did break into the second. Right. Space. Where is that bag? We guessed that you weren't going to use more than half of that second. I definitely did not use, I meant to weigh it. I definitely did not use more than half. Okay. Probably used close to half. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Um, I'll I'll weigh it. Okay. And and let you know um, where it is. I finished this like a week and a half ago. So, (laughs) (laughs) right. And like my whole house has been turned upside down since then for the painting. So, (laughs) like, no clue where anything is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, surprise party shawl by Helen Stewart. Yes. Using the Hue Loco, that's what she said, kit. It's great. Now, it looks like it's kind of hard to wear the way you're wrapping it around. Like it doesn't pull down yeah. much. Oh, it's great. Just because oh. my hair is in it. Oh, gotcha. I find half pie to be very easy to wear because it's. Okay. And it's right up, it stays right up there. I've never made a half pie. This is my second one to make, but my grandmother stole my first one. Right. Um, so, and, but I wore it a couple of times before she got it. Um, and there, you just throw it on. Okay. I mean, and, you know, you could wear it like a, like a granny. Yeah. And it's very warm. Yeah. But I don't, I don't really wear shawls like this. Crazy. I don't either. It's nice. I mean. It's a hug. It's, yeah, it but like looks gives you some color. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So anyway, well, good job. I'm super pleased with it. Thank you. Good job. Okay, I made progress on three whips. Nice. I'm gonna show you the oldest one first. Okay. And that is my blanket, my scrap blanket. The crochet. The crochet scrap blanket. Scrap blanket. Oh my I. God put them all together. They are all boarded, they are all edged, and they are all attached. And I am now on the border that goes all the way around. I know. Whoa. I know. So I have done two, and I've got places that have holes like that, but like, I haven't woven in the ends. Mm-hmm. So I'll use those to clean it up. Yeah. But um, I have, I'm doing to like you know, crochet all the way around. I need six bands all the way around okay. plus a pico Ooh. all the way around. You have to do the pico. No, I don't, but that would be cool. yeah. and I have I still have one more skein worth of yarn. Oh, uh, okay. So I might as well. Yeah. Um, what's the rush really? Like may as well. Right. Yeah. Might as well. And, um, but I've got two of these already. I'm on the third and the hard, you know, not the hardest, but the part that takes focus is the first time around because you're having to pay attention to where you pick up essentially. Whereas once you start going around, well, now you're just, you're just going to have a crochet and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Zoom along. So that feels really good to get yeah, that. Yeah, that's huge. Let me see. So it's it's not my wingspan. It's not as big as I thought. It's not blocked, so it, it yeah, it'll work. Out. Um, it's probably. So is your wingspan how tall you are? Supposed to be. Okay, so it's probably four feet across, and then lengthwise might be like four and a half. Couch yeah. Yeah. I think okay. it will be. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. I, um, I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment about how happy I am with the project for okay. when it's finished and blocked. Um, so we'll see. But okay. I'm, I'm just like, I kind of got a little obsessed with it because I felt close. Yeah. Like I could be finished with this and this is a huge thing yeah. <laughs> to get out of my whip basket. Exactly. And have off my projects. So, um, so I'll probably, I'm hoping that I can get it finished before the next time we 
podcast next time I record because I feel so close. Yes. <laughs> so that's amazing. Like if I was on the border of my scrap blanket, I would be like flipping out. Yeah. But I never work on it. I haven't worked on it since, you know, I went crazy on it at the beginning of quarantine and now right. I'm like, I haven't touched it. Right. Yes. I would be like, that's all I would want to work on. Yeah. Because, like, oh my God. The fact that it's <laughs> doable. Exactly. I know. So <laughs> I know I'm really, really excited. Okay. Really want to get it finished. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Yeah. What do you have? whips um so i did cast on my second sock that i just cast on last night like while we were watching karate kid three what i know we've seen all three now i mean now oh, we have wait. is karate kid three the one with um will no. smith kid no it's still oh. daniel larusso oh yeah huh and it's the one with the bonsai trees oh yeah 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 mitch and i were both like we've never seen karate kid three and then we start it and we're like Oh, this is where they climbed on the cliff and get the bonsai tree. We had it just blended in with the first one. Right. <laughs> it's a trip, y'all. Go back and watch the Karate Kid. So what did the kids think? Did they like it? Um, Nolan's super into it, except he's like, when are they going to fight? I want them to fight. This is right. boring. <laughs> but like, he's yeah. the reason we've watched one, two, three. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, next Karate Kid has Hillary Swank. And then the one after that has Will Smith's kid. Oh. And the one with Hillary Swank still has Mr. Miyagi. Really? Mm -hmm. And then I don't think he's in the one with Will Smith's kid, though. He's not. Because I think he died. I've seen that one. And I, he's haven't, I haven't seen that one. There's nobody. I don't even think Ralph Macchio is in it. Yeah. Well, the reason we, okay, so the reason we watched the first one is because we want to watch the show, that the Cobra Kai. Oh, right. We needed a refresher. Yes. So, yes. Anyway. While we were watching Karate Kid 3, I worked on my other whip that I'm going to show. And then I was like, oh, I've got to get my sock cast on or I'll never get a cast on. So I did cast it on and I'm like on the second color. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cast on. Woohoo! Right. Now that it's cast on. And I think it's going to be like, perfect. Oh, like, look don't say that yet. <laughs> well, but I mean, it's pretty really <laughs> But What I mean is I started it. Oh. The right spot. Do you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Cause I always worry. So yeah, got that going. Now I have my dark knitting. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about the blanket. Like it, it is not dark at all. I uh, can't even like watch TV or anything. I've got to just listen to something mm -hmm. or be with people who don't mind if I don't look at them. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so I had a block of time that was like that. And I had a book I was really enjoying. So I, um, I, I'm like, just do that blanket. And once I got, got going, I'm like, I'm going to finish this. So, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Okay. I have two more whips. How many okay. more do you have? I only have one more. Okay. So the next one is the next oldest, um, which is my tank top an Avel. Mm -hmm. And I got to the end of the stripes. So I'm into the, you know, that's the bottom, mm -hmm. that's the end of the stripes. So I detached my gray from up here. Um, and when I got to the end of the first ball of green, I was probably right here. Like I had done a few. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and do the I chord on here because, I mean, I don't think I'm going to need any more yarn for the rest of it. I think my one last ball of green will be fine for the rest of it. But just in case I needed some gray, I was like, let me go ahead and finish the I chord because I definitely need to do that. Right. So I started on that and it looks so different. Okay. So yeah. this is the lace you know it's rolling up mm -hmm. i haven't done anything there this is it with the i cord so i mean it just better. lays flat already on its own so, so it's better. even better when it's blocked oh yeah and and then speaking of dark knitting last night um i needed dark knitting and I didn't have anything except for this. Like I needed this up here could be dark knitting, but I couldn't do the I cord dark. 
So I went ahead and put the I cord on a holder so that I wouldn't lose the stitches and started knitting on this again. But I will finish the I cord before I finish this. That's awesome. It looks great. I love the I cord, the applied I cord. Remember, I tried everything I could to not have to do it. And now you're like, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. It's amazing. It, it looks incredible. Like it, it totally changed it. It makes such a difference. Um, and it's really, really easy. Yeah. So I'm happy. And it didn't even take like a special tutorial or anything. It's just yeah. literally do these steps and it'll, it'll happen. Gotcha. So I'm feeling good about this. Um, I like the dark knitting, you know, it's, it's good. Um, so I'll keep, I'll keep that as my dark knitting. I'll probably only work on, like once I get the eye cord done, then I'll probably only work on it when I need dark knitting, which is right. often enough, but. Mm -hmm. Great. I love it. Thank you. So my only other whip is, has a little backstory. So we got this email. Oh yeah. We'll players podcast at gmail.com. Um, and it was from, let me pull it up so that I get it all right. Um, <clears throat> so Allison Yates with Knit Reno. Um, it's like Murder Reno, like Knit, oh, yeah. in, yep. knit and then R-I-N-O. And it is an app that they are beta testing. And they sent it to us and asked us if we wanted to do it. And um, I was like, okay. And they threw a couple of patterns in there to try. I think maybe the only free one was this hat. So I pull up, you have download the app through the like beta testing and it's really cool. Um, it's basically um, a way to track your progress. I will just show you I think I can show you this without, you know, copyright or whatever. So I'll just show you just a little bit of the pattern just so you get a feel for the app. Um, so you pull up your pattern. I'll see if it works. If not, okay, I'll have to get you to put it in. Yeah. I'll take a screenshot. And so you click your row that you're working on and it tells you, you know, it says round 12, knit five, blah, 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 twice, blah, 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 twice you know, knit five all the way around. And so you always know what row you're on because it saves it. Like I click, you can click each row. And so it saves your progress. Um, I didn't know what RSC, I'm like, what's, what's that? What stitch is that? And so you click on it and it tells you um, what that is. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Um, and so you have to buy the patterns through that app to get the services. Uh, I think so. I'm still kind of working, learning the app. Did you read that into that? That's what I read when okay. I go to the website. Oh, see, I didn't go to the website. I just downloaded it. And um, I haven't downloaded it yet. So they threw in this free hat just so you could try, you know, we could try it. And it's the astral hat. Um, and it's, I happen to have, so there sample was made with 70% superwash merino, 20% yak, and 10% nylon. And I happen to have, not that it matters, I often, very, most often I don't have the exact base that, <laughs> but right. I happen to have some that didn't have a project attached to it that I wanted to knit. Well, Great. This is happening. So I pulled out, I said, I'll try this app and I'll try this hat. Cool. What I've been wanting to make a hat. I've been wanting to use this yarn. This is perfect. Um, you know, free pattern, sure. So I pulled out my, um, oh, wait, I, the label's over on the, hang on a second. Yep. Okay, so it is my Chick Ashby yarn. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just called Pink, and it's her yak base. I remember when you got that. And your last year's, and I dropped it. Okay, last year's yarn crawl. Um, it is the exact same base, 70% superwash, 20% yak, 10% nylon. It's delicious. Yeah, so it feels great. So soft, and it's just a 100 gram skein. It's in this 
gorgeous like fuchsia pink which Sally haven't you made a fuchsia pink hat like in the last year <laughs> shut up I don't need that negativity in my life <laughs> that one oh that's my cable needle um that hat is a messy bun hat and this one's not going to be so shut it <laughs> gotta have options <laughs> It is really pretty. Um, and it's fingering weight, right? Yes. Yes, it is. And so I just started it. I don't have enough of the actual, like, mm. it's a very, it's, it's like a slip stitch cable, um, like a real subtle just design, but I don't have enough of it to show you. But I do have the ribbing. <laughs> um, like, I literally am in this far in to. The yarn still looks great really pretty yeah but like I don't have enough of the the crisscross like next time I'll show you more of the actual pattern but right. you're doing knit using the Knitrino app so far I'm liking it I mean I'm having to learn it I'm like at first I was like what it says do RSC but it doesn't tell me what that is I couldn't find it anywhere in the like pattern uh-huh but then I realized, oh, you can literally click it. Right. <laughs> and I was if, like, if it needs a tutorial, it'll take you to a tutorial yeah. for it. It's the, it sounds really great. Yeah. It, yeah. No. I'm just learning it and it's, it's great. Like I just had to learn that, you know, it was, I was making it harder than it actually is. I'm curious how much more expensive, because they did say patterns will be more expensive through the mm -hmm. app than otherwise, because they do so much work to make the pattern fit that format. Cause it's not just, it's not just taking a PDF of it and, right. and uploading it to their app. Like what's that one app that I feel like a lot Knit of people. Companion. Yes. Knit what's companion. it called? Knit companion. Yes. Knit companion. And they said, said the distinction is that Knit companion just takes a PDF and overlays ways that you can mark it up. Gotcha. Whereas they literally take the pattern and make it interactive. Gotcha. And so um, I'm not sure. So there's, um, I'm sorry. Okay. So in there right now, there's the free hat and then there's a free cowl. Oh, and then there's a free wrap too, like a, like a shawl. Okay. Um, but there's, uh, oh no. No, I'm sorry. The cowl and the shawl, they say they're free, but they're not the pattern. It's like a sneak peek. The only full pattern that's in there for us beta testers is the hat for free. We could do the wrap or the cowl, um, but we'd have to pay for, for those. And they are listed, the, the wrap is listed at $15.50 and the cowl is listed at $12.25, which Ooh, I think is, pretty, is it's kind of pricey. That but, is way more expensive, yeah. But if this, if it's the only way you can get this pattern done is right. with this guide, right? it's worth it. Yeah. They talked about how they did, um, they talked to a lot of knitters about what their ch biggest challenges were with keeping up with patterns. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the challenges that other knitters had weren't the ones that I have. Like, gotcha. I don't... I don't have a problem keeping up with my patterns and keeping my place in a pattern. Right. Um, but I could see someone like my mom. Absolutely. I mean, it would totally be great for her, especially yeah, I think would like it. Like if it's um, where she has a challenge is when a pattern will say like right now she's making the Manzanilla sweater by Hohi Locatelli mm -hmm. and it is stocking up with garter ridges. Mm. And so it's a pattern of, three knit row, three knit rounds and a pearl round three, you know, but it has to be in a certain order. And so she doesn't do well with reading her knitting to see if she's already done three knit rounds. Gotcha. So she needs to check it off every time. And so then that means if it says do that 17 times, well, she's going to write out her knits and pearls 17 times and cross it off. Um, and so that's how she keeps track of it. But I could see how if the pattern already has those rows out. And you're following it in your phone. Right. 
and yeah. you click, 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 click. And click. oh, that's the other thing. They did say that they made it um, for, for mobile, but not for computers or iPads or tablets. Like it's optimized for a small screen because knitters also don't always want to have to have one more thing with them. Sure. You always have your phone with you. But it sounds like they put a lot of thought. Yeah, in, so far yeah. I'm liking it. Um, but I also got this pattern for free. Like, I don't know if I would have had to pay a couple of bucks more. Would I think it was worth it? It sounds like it's almost twice, at least twice as much as the most expensive patterns I've seen on. Yeah. Like, so, Shoals at $8. I feel like I've seen that. Yeah. Um, I wonder what a sweater would be. Right. And that's the thing is right now there's only these beta patterns. In there. Right. So I don't, I don't know. Stay tuned for that. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's cool. And like, I appreciate them reaching out and asking yeah. us to do it. Um, and it worked out for me because I wanted to make a hat. It was great timing. And I, <laughs> and it worked and out. I, had, I needed something to cast on. So right. Yeah. And I did not want to cast something new on. <laughs> no, you don't need to. I've got three yeah. very active projects right now. I don't want yeah. to cast anything and, else. Like I had just finished that shawl and like I'd been working on the sock, but nothing else. So I was like, I need a new cast on. So it was perfect. Right. Um, I'll, you know, stay tuned. We'll see. Yeah. We'll keep you so far, so far, I'm liking it. Okay. My final whip and I have made so much progress on this. It's kind of, I'm kind of amazed with everything that's been going on that I've gotten so much knitting done. Um, but I, my pixie dust shawl. Oh yeah. I have done oh, so yeah. much. <laughs> so had I even gotten into the red? No. Yeah. So I was it's still only the bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've done the red and look, are you proud of me, Sally? I'm not mid row. Oh my gosh. Who are you? Oh, I made sure to finish at the end of a row. Getting gifts. You're finishing rows. What is happening? Who am I? I've been replaced. So I know. Quarantine has done very interesting things to both of us. Right? You've changed so much. Oh yeah. Okay. So I, Good job. I got into the red mm -hmm. and it's just a, a row of garter. And then this is a simple, I can't see at the same time. So tell me if it's not showing up, but um, this is a simple slip stitch mosaic section. Mm -hmm. And then the lace, which yep. is just little eyelets, yep. a mosaic in the reverse colors, eyelets mosaic in the reverse colors and then I've gotten into the brioche yeah wow so and I'll show you the other side of the brioche with the turquoise as wow. the main color um I love this brioche <laughs> yeah, that's fun I am loving the colors together I love the turquoise and red and then the pink and it'll be turquoise and red the whole way, and then the edge is more pink. So I am holding the turquoise mohair double. I'm just pulling from the inside and the outside. Mm -hmm. um, I can, I can kind of tell on the inside that I've used some, but it really feels like it's the same. <laughs> it's opened up a little bit. I can get two fingers in there now. <laughs> oh my God, get done. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. Not a bit very ugly. hard for me. <laughs> Not a B12. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway, mohair doubled. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I'm almost finished. I'm not. <laughs> but I feel like because I'm into the brioche, because it's a brioche garter, brioche garter, and then the end. And you've done a ton for sure. I have done a ton. I 
used way less yarn. Like this, the pink section is much smaller than I thought it would be based on the pictures. But I keep reminding myself, it's garter. It will yeah. grow big time. So, but I think I'm only going to end up using like half a skein of the pink. Hmm. So, um, I have about 160 stitches on the needle right now. I think I only get up to, I, th I think I get up to less than 200. Wow. Okay. 200. So, yeah. Um, it but does I feel like it. you're almost done. <laughs> Exactly. Um, I just, I mean, I want to work on it all the time. So um, just one more row, one more row. Classic. I know. <laughs> so that's okay. it for, for my whips. Well, that's awesome. Um, do you have any trophies? Mm, I do. Okay. But I think I forgot to, oh no, they're right behind the computer. I'll be right back. So... I spontaneously went to go see my mom this weekend and um, I needed a specific yarn. One of our sweet, sweet viewers, listeners, however you consume this podcast, Marie Prokop, um, she's the writer that donated books to our um, raffle table last mm -hmm. year for our camp. And um, she... <laughs> She was inspired by my love of the no-show socks to create a, an exercise no-show sock or oh, okay. a little sock to use for exercise. Because she's like us, like me. She lives in Austin, so she's like, the only time I wear socks is when I'm wearing tennis shoes or exercising. Because the rest of the time, it's so hot, we don't wear closed shoes. So... Um, so I called around to, so she sent me a link where they're on sale online. Um, and then I checked with like what seventh wool carries it. Oh, because they need a particular yarn. They need a yarn that has elastic nylon in it. Mm. Um, and I, she sent me the link for, there's one by Haiku. It's called Kobasi. It's cotton, bamboo, and silk. And then the elastic nylon. And um, I'm sure there's other brands of that, but I don't know which ones. So I was going to stick with what she sent. Um, she sent me a link so I could buy them online. They're on, they were on sale at a store, I think, in California. Um, but they're not expensive. Um, I think full manufacturer suggested retail price is $8. Oh. Um, yeah, and for a 50-gram skein. Yeah. And then... Um, the sale site had them for five dollars and sixty five cents. Right. I spent more time debating, trying to figure out how to get this yarn for the best price, the best value, and as quick as I could. And it's already cheap. I know. Right. It's like it's eight bucks. Give me all of it. But I hate paying shipping. So mm -hmm. I called. So West Seventh Wool has it, mm -hmm. but they're not open. You have to make shopping appointments and their hours are super limited. And I was willing to just like go pick it up. I wouldn't have even needed to shop for it, but I couldn't get there this weekend because I was going to be gone. And then with school and just like my days aren't free anymore. Right. And so I, um, so then I spent time calling yarn stores in Houston, which, okay. So then I found out that um, I had put it out of my mind thinking, because we're not going to do it. It was the Houston Yarn Crawl, which I think right. is called the Texas Yarn Trail. And, um, and so I, you know, I told my mom, hey, do you want to go on this since we're, I'm going to be in town? Um, and she's like, well, how about we just go to one and then go down to Galveston? <laughs> so I'm like, because it's kind of on the way to Galveston, Park Avenue Yarns. Um, and so we did, we went to Park Avenue Yarns and, um, and they didn't have it. Um, and they didn't have any elastic nylon yarns, but we were about to leave without buying anything because I have it all. And then they said that they had just literally minutes ago had their Primio, Primrose yarn delivery come and we could look through the box if we wanted. 
And this is Primrose Yarn, and it's similar to Spin Cycle, mm -hmm. how the, the wool, like the roving is hand-dyed, but then it's mill spun. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the same colorway. Okay. Even though they're different. Yeah. And they come, this is a sport weight. It's the Homestead Sport. It's a two-ply, 100% superwash merino, and it's approximately 250 yards. And the packages were six skeins together, meaning those six skeins were the same colorway. Right. Every skein looked different, but yeah. it was like three of them were primarily blue, three mm -hmm. were primarily pink colors, but they were from the same, like the the roving had all been dyed together. Gotcha. And it was just how they ended up in the spinning process. I know. So I got these cool. two. And I think what I'm going to do, because I went on and looked um, for patterns of what to do. Um, I thought about doing a shift cowl, but mm -hmm. I have the cowls. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair it with a navy I have and make a sweater, a color work sweater and have this. Oh, be the awesome. Yeah. Totally awesome. So that'll be number 55 in the queue. <laughs> so we'll see when I get to it. <laughs> That's fun. But, so that's that. Do you have any more trophies? I do not. Okay, I have some. <gasps> oh, yay! Okay, so Diane had a little back to school sale. Oh, she did? She did. And so, I think it was 20% off. Okay. It's over. Don't get excited. I'm pretty sure it's over. Uh -huh. um, okay, and you know how the mail, like, stuff's not coming, stuff's getting lost, like, stuff's taking weeks? I got this stuff in, like, three days. Oh. It was weird. Wow. So like faster than it's ever gotten here before from her. It's, you know, usually it takes, you know, three or four days. Yeah. Just because it's, you know, Houston and I don't know. Yeah. Insane. Wow. Um, so all I, I just, these are not even meant to go together, but I bought three skeins of DK just to have, just to kind of build out my. Yep. Cause DK is awesome. It is. And I'm still trying to find the right combo for that rows that grew from concrete oh yeah yeah and i just wanted to just buy a few and then i'll play with all of everything i have uh -huh. so the first one i got is moody blues oh yeah it's a good one it's such a good denim yeah it's a denim -y tonal blue can y'all hear my husband yelling at the tv no <laughs> we never podcast when like my husband is in the house. And so I'm just like, oh my God, a boy is here. Ew. <laughs> I mean, Nolan's here, but like, right. he's not yelling at sports. <laughs> what sports is he yelling at? The NBA? Oh, no, basketball, I guess. NBA, yeah. God, it was great when there was no sports during quarantine. <laughs> okay. And then I got Cole because. It's great. It's the best. It's the uh -huh. dark gray, tonal gray. Uh -huh. This is all in her Merino DK, uh -huh. which is 100% superwash. And then this was one of her newer ones. Ooh. And I am just like, it's so Sally without being teal. It's called Sugar, which, story alert. Growing up, I grew up on a farm in the middle of nowhere. And I had a horse that I ran barrels and poles and you know, it was my horse. Her name was Sugar. And that's Aww. what this yarn is called. This yarn is called Sugar. Aww. She was not pink. <laughs> <laughs> um, my horse was not pink. Um, it's pink. It's like a cream with a pink tonal swirl through it. And then little dark pink. I guess those are like dark pink speckles. Ooh. Really pretty. It's that's just very pretty. girly and there, yeah. that's that right there. Uh-huh. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. Oh, I thought this would be a good one to build on maybe. Yeah. The rose that grew from concrete. That could be your light color. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then build off of this. Mm-hmm. Oh, anyway, I just couldn't resist that discount was really good. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just At literally, I, I didn't even, I wasn't even on her website for 10 minutes. It was like, boop, 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 done. Like, <laughs> sure, why not? Like, I don't know. Right. 
<laughs> right. That's my only trophy, so. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, um, I feel like I can always buy a DK skein. Yeah, because I don't have 95 of them like I do fingering weight or, you know, sock right. yarn. I have so much sock yarn right. and I tend to only buy the same like three colors. And so mm -hmm. DK, it's like, well, I need to build that set. Like if you just need to just buy yarn because you just need to fill a void or whatever, buy DK because right. that's good as much. <laughs> right. And you can turn each one of those into a hat, like, and have a little bit left over. And, mm -hmm. um, but I will say if you're wanting to get rid of some, or not get rid of, if you're wanting to use some of your fingering weight, um, I find doubling it works and using it with a D, you know, like when you're That's playing with like colors, okay. you know, for the rose that comes, grows from concrete, if you feel mm -hmm. like if you're looking at your wheel and like, man, I need this color, a yellow or an orange, which you would never say that, okay. but. No, oh, thank you. Right. But if I need, will not, will not be in my stash. Right. Don't even look for it. <laughs> but like how I did yeah. with that mohair, you know, right. like I I searched my stash for the color I needed, sure. and then made it work. Yeah. So okay, yeah. Well, I do have an orange right there. What's that? Oh, it's like more of a peach or salmon color. And then that is, it gold. looks gold, but it's that um. Calm, caramel. Salt. Oh, salted caramel. I'm telling you. As close as I get. <laughs> it's so great. And I was so sad that she can't get that dye anymore and can't make it. I mean, she's close on the other yeah, one. Yeah, hickory is close. Yeah, but. Um, we be freebie. We be freebie. So it's back to school. Um, I searched because we started last week. You started, right, Sally? No. Or you start this week. We start, we were supposed to start last week and they delayed it by a week. So we start Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Um, so I went into my freebies bundle on Ravelry and I searched school, I searched learning, I searched education, science, math, all the things, reading. Um, I searched Zoom because, you know, so much is done over Zoom. I yep. searched web because the, my kids school uses webex <laughs> i tried everything you're trying yeah i'm trying so it came up with two patterns out of all those words so we're just going with it because it's now 7 45. <laughs> so, the first i'm sorry i'm yawning i start yawning at like five every day and i don't stop until i go to bed so don't it's not you it's just so me turning into a pumpkin these are so perfectly schooled. They're so precious. Oh my God. Okay. Look at these. Yes. Stuff. I have seen those. Oh my God. In the paper. <laughs> yes. So cute. There's a sweater. It's not free, but it's that paper. So it is a sweater that is blue and white stripes like that. And then it has a pink line down the side. <laughs> I'm like, I would make that sweater just to wear it one day a year mm -hmm. on the first day of school. Yep. Oh, but I couldn't wear it on the first day of school. It'd be so dang hot. You have to make it like linen or like a t-shirt or something. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. I would wear it when I was subbing. Oh yeah. Cause it's always cold in school. I have more opportunities to wear it than you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I know. So then the other one, the second one, which I think science brought this up and I couldn't figure out why, um, but it's a shawl. And it has some eyelets in the center section. And then it's just um, stuck in it. Oh, I know. It's knit tip to tip. Like it's knit from one end this way. Oh, what's it called? It, oh, sorry. It is called um, Veil Crescent Shawl. Ooh, okay. So, um, and it's cute and it's free. Very cute. So those are the only two that I came up with. Sorry, guys. That's okay. <laughs> and if anybody ever wants to suggest a theme for Weeby Freebies, I am open to suggestions. <laughs> so I need them. Please, please send me suggestions. Otherwise, it's going to die out, guys. <laughs> I know, right? Otherwise, it's going to be random and no theme, which is fine, too. <laughs> That's really cute, though, especially those socks. 
Yeah, I know. Really I kind of want to make mitts out of. That would be really cute. Right. I've seen the pencil socks. Yeah. Before. So I'm having like one pencil, one paper. So. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even put that together. I'm such a ding dong. <laughs> Did you think it was like two, you make two yeah. pencils? Just two. Yeah. Like here are the two patterns you get in this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would make a pencil and a paper. Totally. Because you need a pencil and paper. They yeah, go together. together. Like peanut butter and chocolate and like <gasps> <Sal> now. <laughs> exactly. Oh, speaking of. Yes. I haven't said this in a while. Yeah. You brought it up when yeah. we were chatting before. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. Give us a little thumbs up. Tell your friends. Yeah. And thank you to you guys that are subscribed yeah. and that watch every time we put a podcast out. You're and loyal and you comment and it's the best and right yeah, thank we you. really really appreciate it because i mean we do this because it's fun if it weren't fun we wouldn't do it but right. we also do it because guys y'all are watching right. <laughs> i don't know would we keep doing it if nobody was watching then yeah. it's just us hanging out which is fine <laughs> yeah we'd probably still zoom yeah oh for sure we'd still zoom but we might not record it <laughs> and i just looked like and in panic it is recording right like <laughs> it is it's recording. She's going to kill me. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, yeah please subscribe. Okay. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Tell your friends. We appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Try Always trying to grow because you know what, you guys? In-person retreats are going to happen eventually. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> going to happen. And so when that happens, we need, you know, we need to have reached as many, we need people to know about our little podcast and our little retreat. Yep. So. Because the more knitters, the better. Yes. And the ones of you, the, I can't talk. It's 8 p.m. and I can't talk. Um, <laughs> those of you who are always here for us, we love you and appreciate you. And, and love all the comments. So thank yeah. you. It's the best. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you again soon. Don't, Don't forget to slay. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Bye. <laughs>
And I shouldn't small, say. Small play? Not the one that's big. The one that was big. It had like an upstairs and. Stink. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right oh, okay. <laughs> so well, I. Here. Right. But I just, I was so pissed. I'm like, how are you to do this? And, and my mom's like, well, I think she's really just in it for the money. Like, that's why she has the business. She doesn't care about knitters. And that's fine if you're, I mean, it is her business. But it just felt ugly. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to call her out. I will talk to my 1,390 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and just let everybody know. Nancy <laughs> Nancy's Knits in Houston is terrible. Don't shop there if you can avoid it. I mean, the customer service, my mom has friends that have had terrible experiences there. Crazy. Oh, yeah. She's just awful. She needs so, competition. She needs competition. And, and the other yarn store that was there, Knitting in the Loop, was lovely. And they did well. They were successful. The owner had ended up having like health issues or somebody in her family had health issues. And so she just closed. She didn't even try to sell it, I don't think. So I think there is a chance for competition. But you know, it takes a big desire to open a store. And I don't have that desire. No. So. So anyway, well, I was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> so what I ended up doing after I spent an hour on West Seventh Wool's website trying to get to fifty dollars to get free shipping, they're at seventy five dollars now. <laughs> and remember, the yarn I needed was six dollars <laughs> or eight dollars from West Seventh Wool. <laughs> I ended up just going back to the original link and buying two skeins from <laughs> and paying for shipping. <laughs> So do you have it? <laughs> and I don't even have it. To like, where's the damn yarn? <laughs> I know. I want to see this yarn now. <laughs> it's going to be pink and orange. <laughs> I mean, we'll show it next time. Exactly. I might even have a sock done next time. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Yeah, because she, so she sent me the pattern and asked me to test knit for her. Oh, and, cool. Um, okay. Yeah. So I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see that. that. Maybe I'll finally make that one since I can't seem to make the other. I know. I was thinking that like when I was looking at the pattern, I was like, oh, I think Sally would actually make this one and like this one. So 